There's Omar. There you are. There you are. Let's get your rope. Really falling in love with this rope. Come on. Nope. Can you sit? Good boy. <laughs> you sit? Can you sit? Good boy. Good boy over there. Omar. Breakfast? Come here. Can you sit? Good job. No, sit. Good boy. Porch body. It's pretty early. Me and Omar are out here. It's like 7 a.m. or something. Oh, yes. So hey. How old is he? He's 12 weeks. So this one is four months. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, I couldn't teach him how to man. This yeah. is hard. They, they are, are like stubborn little dogs. Stubborn as hell. Yeah. They're not. That's awesome. But I love him though. That's great, man. That's awesome. Yeah. You live in the building? Yeah. Okay, cool. Teddy. Good, good nice young to meet you. Yeah. Uh, this bit. Good right. boy. Yeah. Come on. Let's go to your crate. Come on. Let's go to your crate. Here you go. You go to your crate. Good boy, Omar. Good job. So, uh, yeah. Past couple of days with Omar have been pretty interesting. He is a very good dog. He's a very smart boy. Um, we're getting it. He's uh, had a couple accidents in the house, but it's a puppy for you. So he's got puppy pads in here, but he's been last day or so, really the whole time, he realizes he needs to go outside. So he walks to the, come on, come on. Omi, come on. Omi to homie, let's go. All right, you can stay in there. You want to stay in your crate? You can stay in your crate if you want. Hang out in there, I don't care. You can come out. But uh, yeah, training's going well. I have a whole nother full day with him here, so that's good. I had a few days where I didn't really have to leave. So, well, I left a little bit. I, uh, last night I went and saw this fucking lens. So dirty. Uh, last night I went and saw Baby Driver, which was really a great movie, I thought. You should check that out. Really good movie if you're into action movies um, that aren't corny. I didn't think it was corny at all, which is a fine line with action movies, you know. Hung out, tried to organize a little bit. Shoe room is still. We, we went non-shamble for a moment, and then the other day it fell, and I haven't had a chance yet to fix it. So maybe today this will happen. I have to go meet up with Sager for some t-shirt meeting stuff. There's a lot of people commenting and stuff like, well, this looks like shit too. Like, you don't like drop boxes, but that looks like shit. I, yes, I, I know, but I don't, I, I'm just waiting to figure out what I want to do. I'm not going to keep it this way either, but you know, drop boxes, it's not happening. Just, it's never going to happen. Never. Ever. Unless I get my own signature drop box that isn't a drop box. But yeah, so I'm gonna spend my morning hanging out with Omar. Wait for Sager to hit me up. 
and then we'll come back and play with Omar some more. So I don't think I have any shoes coming in today. I know that I have another pair of zebras on the way and then both of the new parlays. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's dropped. Uh, the Bodega Niki should be on its way. <sighs> I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Let's get this motherfucking day started. <sighs> <laughs> Good boy. Man, he's off. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Wild man. Yeah. I think you're going to want to jump off of there. Like ever in your life. Oh. Good job. Good job. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself, Omar? Huh? Hey. I gotta go. You want a treat? You don't even know what treat means yet. I gotta go to work for a little bit. Me with Sager. And then I'll come back and we'll play. Okay? Promise. Yo! Nice. Tiger looks good. Cutouts are for the hallway because we're opening up the other side. Sager's dealing with uh, city people today, I guess. So, <sighs> only here for a minute, hour. I don't know. We got back to Omar soon. Ollie's in the hallway. Yeah, in the stairwell. Yeah. I'm renting a bunch of scaffolding. Scaffolding? How are you gonna put scaffolding in the hallway? Fucking that Rafa dude. That Rafa dude. Yeah. He painted that whole stairway. And he, I was like, dude, how'd you paint that stairway? He's like, scaffolding. I said, you own it or did you rent it? He's like, I rented it from Home Depot. I was like, you want to help me? He's like, I need to rent it, and I gotta hang a bunch of paintings. He's like, yeah, no problem, Matt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, it's a billionaire boys club. Dude. Thanks, Jake Sanderson. Don't spill any more paint on your easy dog. Oh, there's tattoo ink. Oh, uh, was it? It wasn't from today. Damn. I did those. Did that one on dead stock. Undead stock. Today you wore them? Nice. I like, I was doing black and gray. Uh -huh. I hit the cap. <laughs> I just like splattered. Fuck! The worst. All right, I'm leaving Sager. Going back, check on Omi the homie. Have fun, tell him why I said hi. I will. Man. Good boy. Well, uh, I just got home from the shop, I'm chilling with Omar now. Really, that's pretty much gonna be my day, like. I'm just gonna hang out. I forgot it was 4th of July tomorrow, so there won't be a vlog tomorrow, I'm sure. I'm probably not gonna do much. It's literally, the only thing I care about is training this little guy right now. There he goes, his bone. Drop it off the thing. 
Uh, shop is going through all kinds of changes. We're trying to get the expansion done, so there's a shop party. It's like our anniversary, supposed to be re-grand opening expansion, look what we did party. Uh, that's on the 8th. I actually won't be in town. Omar's crazy. I won't be in town. I'll be at Dallas Sneaker Con. Yes, for those of you asking, I'll be at Dallas Sneaker Con. So I won't be in town for the party, but if you're around Colorado or the world and you want to come, uh, you should come check it out. It'll probably be great. I uh, don't know all the details, actually. I'm sure the information is on the Instagram. Actually, let's check it out. Where's my phone? Doom, doom, doom. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. art, food, drinks, and fun. There you go. 7 p.m. on the 8th at the shop, so they're getting ready for that. Lot, just lots of stuff going on for the shop, so yeah. And then getting ready for online drops, things of that nature, a lot of changes coming there. Ernie is moving. Ernie will be here on like the 12th. July 15th, because I'm taking the, uh, we're driving out July 11th from, we're leaving, we're taking four days. I could actually film some of that. Yeah, you should get some footage, yeah. Of your your journey, yeah, you should get a you should get a whole vlog of your journey to Colorado. You should film vlog style. It's because I'll be in a budget truck and Brandy will be in the yeah. other car. With yeah, three you, of the animals. <laughs> and Vern will probably be meowing the entire time. I can't believe you have a cat. If I could leave today, I would fucking leave today. Like, yeah. There's just ten days, and it's like. Um, it's just a lot of pretty much packing. I've been like packing every day. I've been packing my ass off. You should use that quote if you're still recording me because Brandy will hear that and I haven't packed shit. <laughs> She'll be like, I've been packing my ass off and you fucking tell Teddy that you've been packing my ass nice. off. Nice. I'll say, uh, <laughs> Brandy, you know, she's trying to pack, but she just can't keep up at the tremendous speed that I'm working at. Yeah, that's how it goes, so, man. Someone's got to carry the team, you know? I know, and it's not. I'm just excited to get in my car and make it across this country in a fucking mm -hmm. budget and, and run some it. red lights yeah i guess so i didn't even realize i was such a bad driver I was surprised <laughs> i've been telling you you're a bad driver for fucking years uh, and you I'm and your defense is referencing me getting <laughs> stuck in the driver your, de no. your defense is i'm a good driver that's literally all you ever say you're like i'm a good driver and i'm like no, no, no i don't know about that things done i'm just waiting to, to leave that's what i'm saying i just can't wait like i literally just want to leave all right well i'll see you soon all right, homie. All right. Peace. Peace. Start like a little podcast with Ern so we can smoke weed and talk about whatever we want. New new house, new dog. Still haven't gotten all this shit organized. Life, you know? Life, it just comes at you. Keeps on coming. So, um, yeah, I'm going to hang out here with the pup. We're going to talk about some shoes that I slept on at first. But I mean, I slept on means I didn't get them the day they came out. I got them a few days later. I was on the road when they got here. And we never checked these out. So we will check these out today. I'm actually gonna throw them back on my feet right now. I'm hungry though. I'm gonna go get a salad. Salad! Oh, and then online drops. Yeah, so Thursday, uh, there's been a lot, dude, like, my DMs and my messages about the Godzilla shirts. Like, what a, you guys love the Godzilla shirts, and they sell out so quick. So we got one more restock of Godzilla coming. That's going to happen on Thursday, along with the mystery bag drop that everyone's been asking me about. Mystery bags are $20. We're going to try to not send you doubles if we notice you guys getting, uh, you know, somebody orders 10 mystery bags, and it's all size large. We'll do our best to not send you doubles, but it's also down to availability. It might be that's all we have left in large. So um, just keep that in mind. Also, mystery bags are no returns. All sales are final on those. 20 bucks, you will you could get just a t-shirt. You might get a couple of t-shirts. You might get a sweatshirt. I mean, who knows? It's mystery. Mystery to me too, but that's the deal. There's also a sideways shirt dropping. You'll learn more about that. That's pretty much it. So today, Let's go hang out with this pup and eat some food and relax and get ready for the 4th of July. Ooh, two different colored socks on, boo. That's what happens when you gotta throw socks on to let Omar out super early. Hey, chill with the feet biting. Chill. 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 Hey! That hurt. That's not my purple haze. I got. A new torch, which is limited edition. Hype these shit, fam. Apparently, it glows in the dark. Then these, because I'm kind of over blunts, actually. Everyone is talking these up. So, some more hype these shit. I'm gonna try these out. Purple Haze in Denver. I fuck with them. I fuck with them hard. Omar, running around still. 
What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Wiling. What? Running shit? You're not supposed to. Boy, you're gonna fall off of there. You're gonna learn this lesson. Alright, I gotta do some research on the internet because I don't want a car for the record. I do not want to buy a car. But there is Zipcar and car to go here. Most of the car to go seem like these little smart cars or whatever. I don't want to drive a little smart car around. That seems pretty scary. So, but I saw someone driving like a SUV car to go the other day. So I might look into that and um, see what the deal is. There's not very many zip cars around this area, but it does seem like I might need. It does seem like I might need a car for some things here and there. So I'm gonna look into it. Hopefully, I don't have to buy a car because I really. Chill. I really don't want one, but we'll look into it. We'll see. Research to do, things, stuff, you know. Bow. You, do the, you know, the YouTubers that do this. The salad consists of kale, craisins, cucumbers, croutons, chicken. There's a lot of C's in this salad. I guess kale's a K, right? Uh, oh, bacon, avocado, and oil and vinegar, salt and pepper. That's it. I like to mix my own salad, in case you didn't know. I don't let other people mix my salad. You know what I'm saying? Ah, gotta mix your own salad. Whew. Okay. So let's talk about some shoes since uh, we um, have really just been hanging out all day. These are shoes that I got that we never looked at. Um, let's start with, since they're not on my feet, the White Mountaineering NMD Trail PK. That's what the box looks like. It's black with white stripes. And this is what the shoe looks like right there. Oh, red, white, and blue. This is the perfect, oh, this is the perfect 4th of July vlog. Holy shit. Um, so the 4th of July NMDs, no, I'm just kidding. But the White Mountaineer NMDs, these came out a while ago. These are the trail version. They have other NMDs that are not trail versions. At first glance, these, I didn't think these were PK. There's probably even old tweets of me saying I was gonna pass on these. There's two colorways. There's this, the red, white, and blue, 4th of July, and just the black and white. So <clears throat> the shoe itself, uh, all PK upper, this is all prominent, 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 prominent in the back, even though the heat. What is this dog doing? And uh, even though the heel is reinforced and you know more sturdy, not like a, a PK NMD, it is still prominent on the outer. There is just a little reinforcement in the heel, which actually lends itself well to the shoe. Definitely is a more sturdy NMD than you're used to. So all PK upper, which flip flops between red and blue and white and red and blue and white. Uh, red bricks, Adidas branding on the front, the almighty boost, and then there's the trail bottom. So the trail bottom turns a lot of people off and I personally really like the trail bottom. The first shoe that I think I really got with it that I noticed that it seemed to help the way the boost feels was the Titolo. Um, that's one of the reasons why I like that shoe so much is just how comfortable it is. It just feels a little more sturdy. Same thing with this one. The, the outsole on this just makes it feel more sturdy when you're walking on the boost. I definitely like the trail boost. I'm looking forward to the human races with the trail boost. I think it's sick. Uh, white Mountaineering branding on the tongue. White Mountaineering branding on the rear, also known as a pull tab. And then we have the Adidas branding with the three stripe triangle. And then what's really cool about this uh, is the three stripe paneling on the side with the tape. You can see kind of this subtle WM in the side, which for White Mountaineering, that's pretty cool. Um, if you can't see that, that's a W. That's an M, boom, boom, boom. White laces, and like most NMDs, the insole is not removable. These are definitely sick. I'm actually, actually, uh, 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 uh. I'm actually about to look online to see if I can find the black pair, because I like these so much. So yeah, to me, it's a good cop. It's, you know, let's not call it a must cop, because not everybody likes it. But for me, it's a must cop. That's why I copped them. Um, yeah, but that's the White Mountaineering NMD Trail, and okay.
So then the other shoe we're gonna look at, which is on my feet, are, I would call these the mineral greens. I think they have a different name. They all were for the Boston Marathon 2016. Uh, box looks like this. You can still find these for under retail. eBay is a good place. Make sure you get legit check first. Although I don't know that I've seen fakes of these because they were slept on highly. It is possible. You never know what shady people are gonna do. This is the shoe, uh, let's just call it mineral green for the sake of argument. This is a 2.0, but has some of the features of a 1.0. For instance, the mesh in the back, that's a 1.0 feature, but we have a continental sole, which is a 2.0 feature. So it's kind of in the middle. There were a couple of different pairs that had the mesh on the back, as well as the 2.0 gradient. So 2.0 Ultra Boost, for me, I like size 13. I can wear 12 and a half if I take out the insole and loosen the laces. I generally like the shoe pretty loose, so I still try to get a 13, but you can go half size down usually if you absolutely must. This has a nice little infrared insole, red on the inline, nice infrared laces, and then we don't have much peppering, but we have a nice little gradient of some dark teal, to aqua, to mint, to seafoam. And then you have your aqua and your, uh, I guess your aqua and your mint kind of peppered right up in there into just this part of the toe box. And then in the back, it just kind of turns into a solid uh, dark teal or turquoise, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, same color with the heel cup. We got a teal heel cup, a teal cage with dark turquoise stripes upon it. Uh, boost, black continental sole. Silver and gold Ultra Boost branding. Adidas branding on the tongue for performance as always. But uh, yeah, this was a highly slept on shoe. I can't even lie. When Sager, this was Sager's first pair. When he got them, I like clowned him. I was like, man, you got one of the worst colorways. But now that it's summertime and it's just like, it's a vibe, you know, I, I really like this shoe. I got them a couple of months ago and they'd just been sitting here, but I threw them on today and walked around. About to go down to the pool probably and see what that's all about. And um, yeah, I just like it. I just like the Miami, the Miami styles, you know what I mean? Kiwi Sunrise. Cool, it looks great, I like it. Uh, you can probably still find these if you look. These are the Mineral Green Boston Marathon. There's another green color they were calling it with the flame red, I don't, I don't know what it's called. But they're sick, you can still find them. That's my review. This is Omar, as you've seen running around. He's here. Uh, I forgot the other day when I was giving shout outs for everyone who helped get Omar here. My man Bill, who was the person that facilitated the whole thing. He's a subscriber to the channel and he was the one that reached out and helped me really narrow it down and find the best breeder. And of course, the OG baby Omar. This is Omar, you're gonna see a lot of him. My uh, main responsibility and over the next couple of weeks is gonna be, or even months, is getting him whipped into shape so he stops doing shit like this. And um, yeah, so Omar, say what's up, and we'll see you guys soon.